Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I am now answering question number seven from the P1, Pure Mathematics P1, October 2022 International A Level and Excel exam. This question we have this graph with equation showing a curve with equation y equals f of x. They did not give us the equation of the curve, they just gave us some points on the curve and its shape. It says the points P, negative 4, 6, Q, negative 1, 6, R, 2, 6, and S, 3, 6 lie on this curve. Use figure 1, or using figure 1, find the range of values of X for which F of X is less than 6. Okay, so now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a line, Y equals 6, on this curve. And of course, the line Y equals 6 is going to go through all those points because all of them have the y coordinate of 6. Okay, so this is going to be the line y equals 6. Okay, this is the line y equals 6. So all the points where this line intersects with the curve are the points where f of x equals 6. We've got to find where f of x is less than 6. So basically, we've got to find where the curve is below the line, where the y values of the curve give you values which are less than that of 6, basically, right? So f of x is less than 6 in the region where the curve drops below the line. So when it says um, the range of values of x, so if we see here, this is where f of x equals 6. It's one point where f of x equals 6. Okay, there's another point somewhere over here. Another point somewhere over here. Another, another point somewhere over here. Right? Now, I can see from the, from the graph that when x, when, the, when, when x is less than this value, so this is where x is minus 4. This is where x is minus 1. This is where x is 2, and this is where x is 3. Now, when x is less than minus 4, the curve is below the line. When x is less than negative 4, it's below the line. When x is between negative 4 and negative 1, the curve is above the line. But when x is between minus 1 and 2, the curve is below the line y equals 6. And the other place between 2 and 3, it's above the line. But when x is greater than 3, it's also below the line. So we're looking for the parts where the curve is below the line. And we can see that those parts are this area here, okay, in this area here, this area here. So the x values of those areas are as we mentioned. Okay, as we mentioned, we mentioned, so we can see from the graph, it's when x is less than minus 4, and when x is between minus 1 and 2, or when x is greater than 3. Okay, so you can write your answer like that. If you want to write it in set notation, you can say x is such that x is less than negative 4, or is between minus 2 and uh, minus 1 and 2 or x is greater than 3. You can write it like that if you want it's a notation. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's fine. We should write it like this is perfectly good. So there's the answer to part A of this question. Okay, now for part B. It says state the largest solution of the equation f of 2x equals 6. So again, we're going to draw the line. Okay, which is f of x equals 6, or y equals 6. Now, the largest solution is 3, 6 of y equals f of x equals 6, or f of x equals 6. Okay, so the last, largest solution means um, the largest x value where f of x, is, f of x is equals 6. That's when x equals 3. Okay, so we can say that for f of x equals 6, you can say the largest solution is when x equals 3. So when f of 2x 
equals 6, we take this and we divide it by uh, 2. We divide it by 2 because this is a, if you, if you draw the, um, the translated version of this graph, what's going to happen is all the x values are halved and all the y values stay the same. So instead of being 3, 6, this is going to become 3 over 2, 6. This is for y equals f of 2x. And this is going to become 1, 6. And this is going to become minus a half, 6. And this is going to become minus 2, 6. Okay, so this is going to become 3 over 2. Okay, so all the x values are halved. So therefore, you can say x equals 3 over 2. So if f of x equals 6, x equals 3 is the largest solution. If f of 2x equals 6, then x equals 3 over 2 is the largest solution of this equation. Okay, simple as that. And then part C says, sketch the curve with the equation y equals f of minus x. And on your sketch, state the coordinates of the points to which p, q, and r, p, q, r, and s are transformed. And then part 2 says, hence find the set of values of x for which f minus x is greater than or equal to 6, and x is less than 0. So there's a few things we've got to do. First, we've got to sketch the curve with the equation y equals f minus x. Now, the curve of y equals f minus x is basically, if this is your original curve, this is y equals f of x, y equals f minus x is a reflection of this curve in the y-axis. All the x values, their signs change, all the y values stay as they are. So instead of having 3, 6, and 2, 6, there will be minus 3, 6, and minus 2, 6. Instead of having negative 4, 6, and minus 1, 6, it's going to become 4, 6, and 1, 6. This turning point is going to be on that side. This turning point is going to be on that side. Okay? So basically, let's, let's just take this turning point as being about maybe minus 2 minus 3, and this one, about, let's say that's 2.5. So we can see that they're going to go on the other side, that's all. So the whole thing is reflected in the um, y-axis. Right, so we're going to draw our axes. So here's the y-axis, the x-axis, sorry, and here's the y-axis. Okay, so you have y and you have x. Okay, so now these points, I'm going to just draw a straight line so that it's, it's neat. So I'll draw a straight line. That's going to be, I'll make that y equals 6 and then put the points in. So you're going to have now the point 4, 6. Okay, that's the point 4, 6. Okay, so it says here. It's P, P, Q, R, S. Okay. So in the, oops, so this is P, Q, R, and S. So now this is going to be P dash. That's going to be 4, 6. Then you're going to have Q dash, which is going to be Q dash, which is going to be 1 and 6. Then you're going to have R dash. is 2 and 6 and then you're going to have s dash which is that's negative 2 and 6 this is negative 3 and 6 okay so those are going to be those points but what's going to happen now is it's going to be reflected so this this part's going to be over here and it's going to go higher so this part's going to be over here I'll try and do it as neat as possible it's going to go higher up and then it's going to come down, and then it's going to cut through here. You can see it turns just after, so here it's going to turn just after that, this side. And then it's going to go up through this point, and down to that point, and then down through the x-axis somewhere over there. Okay, so that's how it will look if you compare it to the original thing. It's a, whoops, what did I do there? It's a reflection. in the y-axis. So this is a reflection 
on the y-axis. All the x-coordinates change their sign, all the y-coordinates are the same. So I'm going to write down so it's very clear. P is now 4, 6. And Q is now 1, 6. And R is now negative 2, 6. And S is now negative 3 and 6. So there's the answer to part 1. And then it says, hence, find the set of values for which f minus x is greater than or equal to 6, and also where x is less than 0. So we've got to find where this is true and that both of them are true. This is true and that is true. So f of x is greater than 6, so we want to know where the curve is above the line y equals 6. Okay, so where the curve is above the line y equals 6, well, it's in this region here between minus... 3 and minus 2, and also between 1 and 4, okay? However, we are only looking for the part. So here, this is one region here where it's, the curve is above 6, and here is another region. However, we need to find the place where x is less than or equal to 0. We have to take that into account, uh, less than 0, so we have to take that into account as well. So we can see that for part two, I'll write the answer here. In part two, I can say that it's only this region here where x is between minus three and two, minus two, sorry, uh, equal minus three and equal minus two, because it says where f of x is greater than or equal to six. So it's greater than and equal to six, greater than or equal to six between minus three and minus two, including minus three and including minus two. We don't include this part because we want to make sure that we also satisfy the condition that x is less than zero. So only the values of x which are less than zero, we're looking to see in that section here, and there where the curve goes above y equals 6, or is equal to y equals 6. So there's the answer to part 2. And that concludes our question, question number 7 from the P1 International Able Paper. Uh, from LXL October 2022. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of transformations and graphs um, from P1. P1 can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.